Steve Jobs left Apple with a hole at its center, but with what seemed to be a solid lineup of new products in the pipeline. We recently shipped our 100 millionth iPhone. A lot of stuff going on, and it's all good. But it wasn't all good, and without Jobs, as products were less than warmly received, Perhaps management struggled to make adjustments. Apple debuts its new iPhone 4S, packing a faster chip and better camera. But the announcement is a bit of a letdown. Siri didn't work as seamlessly as promised. What works smoothly in an Here's Apple promo reel. Is it going to be chilly in San Francisco this weekend? Not so much for me. How hot's it going to be in Los Angeles this week? It took a good 30 seconds to get this. Uh oh, something's wrong. Can you try again? Marketing techniques that were once hailed. There's certainly no sign of a recession at the Apple store on Manhattan's Upper West Side. Are now mocked. I'm psyched. All I'm saying is that they should have a priority line for people who've waited five times. Scott Forstall put his personal stamp on the new Apple Maps. You can see we have this beautiful 3D turn by turn directions. As we take you around turns, we use a cinematic camera angle to fly you around. But it was unreliable, error-ridden. It was MapGate. Apple CEO Tim Cook is apologizing for the problems with Apple's new map application. Forstall really refused to sign an apology, but Cook wrote, We are extremely sorry for the frustration this has caused our customers, and we are doing everything we can to make maps better. Indeed, the nail in the coffin may have been the entire iOS 6 experience. All the things that Apple promises, the magic of, of, of all the things that Apple markets, it turns out that once you get past a certain number of you know, files, a certain number of photos, a certain number of songs, it just falls apart.